Okay, so I just found a climbing partner, so we need to go to the gym. Because uh, I'm doing roots today and it was really hard to find someone, but now I found someone, so uh, it's time to go climb. Let's go. <laughs> So this is my climbing partner today. Are you psyched? Yeah, sure. Always. <laughs> Always psyched. Always psyched. Okay. So um, we're. Um, I think we're gonna start pretty soon because you have to leave in like two hours. Yeah. yeah. So we should get to it. Let's do it. Adam is in the lift. Uh, and. Uh, but should we start doing some, uh, maybe some auto blaze for warming up? For sure, yeah. Yeah, let's do some auto blaze. And then I think we're both pretty excited to try all the new routes. I'm standing on the longboard right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was suggesting that we might get some dolly shots with a longboard. Some gliding shots, you know? Would be perfect. Would be pretty nice. But I don't know if my skills on the longboard are good enough. Okay, but I should uh, tell people who you are. Yeah. Or maybe uh, you should do it, but I hate to, uh, like I hate when people ask me to like, introduce yourself, name, age. Uh, I'm this uh, kind of heavy guy, which always is around at the gym. Uh, more or less just uh, stoked about climbing all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, during my last, or during my first three days, I've seen you like every day. Yeah. You've been there almost as much as me. Almost, but I'm in like uh, this easy mode, uh, yeah. so I haven't properly ranked up my training yet. So you'll be seeing uh, a lot more of me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. But uh, Christopher is a youth climber. Uh, last year in youth. Yeah. Just graduated high school, and uh, now uh, you go 100% uh, for climbing. It seems. Yeah. Yeah, Let's all in. Let's put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> Ice cream for breakfast. I kind of like. I like the style. And I had the cinnabon as well. Cinnabon yeah. and ice cream for uh, for breakfast. breakfast. Yeah, and probably a Snickers for lunch. So. <laughs> okay. Shall we start? Shall we start? Och så klart mamma. All in le. Shall we start? Och så klappar du och så för då börjar man med en gång eller så. Shall we start?
out on the left. Okay. So when the, the rope goes uh, left of the volume yeah. and doesn't get stuck around the, the big black dildo. Yeah. <laughs> the big black right dildo. Now, it gets stuck around the big black <laughs> dildo and, that, and that's not good. Well, it's not good for the dildo, it's not good for the volume, it's not good for the ropes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, Adam uh, is, uh, in my opinion, the world's best root setter, <laughs> and he's working at the gym now. And he's watching us try the roots for the first time, because they haven't, uh, no one's tried, or you've tried some of them, right? I've tried some of them, but yeah. you're the first testers yeah. today for one, two, three, four roots, huh? Yeah. Four roots, and some of them have been modified. So in fact, you're testing it right now, and, and what we're doing is we're checking if. Uh, if it goes as expected, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and you're probably gonna tweak him a little bit after you've seen people yeah. on them. Yeah, we like. I'd rather have you guys climb them yeah. than say like, okay, yeah, it's open, and then you people give me the grades because as I see you climb, I can ask you always to stop at a section, check it the other way, yeah, and then tweak the things a little bit more so to get it, yeah, so to get it a little bit more worked through, yeah, because we can as well set the routes and lead them and they're gonna work like they they would the easier ones they're gonna work yeah. but we want them good quality so we need to kind of do at least one set of modifications on them I would say. Yeah. Do you feel like there's a big uh, difference between commercial and competition setting? Well it depends because in this gym we've got quite a few things that I would like to have a little bit more competition in life. You know? yeah. So the harder routes I would like one of the great set to be training more and one of them to be more competition like yeah. but then there is a huge difference when it comes down to what you said commercially because you have the freedom of uh, you know not getting the score not getting the quota for the next rounds and so on and this gives you a lot of opportunity to play with people and yeah. you know, to give them things that are going to be <laughs> fun are going to be more funky and are going to be like maybe proxy sequences yeah well, you try to have them really interesting this yeah. way. So you have more creative freedom when you set commercial routes, kind of. Yeah, but at the same time, you have to watch out because uh, you, you're at, at both sides. You're a little bit more free to play with things, yeah. but you're a little bit more limited with the fact that then there's going to be a lot of routes on the wall. You cannot play with the lines as you wish. Yeah. You know, you have boundaries for setting. Yeah. Routes. And what what is the next competition you're setting now? Arco. Arco, the Arco World Cup in Arco. Weeks, yeah. Uh, two weeks. Yeah. So this is kind of a good test because like we we don't play with the maybe the senior male like semi-final final route but we do play a little bit with the grade of the men's quality we do play definitely with the grades of women's you know hard things so, yeah. so it's good it's interesting for the men yeah. because you would always expect that it's the women that run out of time yeah and it was the men in, in Italy. So yeah. that's the interesting part because you always think like, oh, you know, the women's route are slow, they climb like they climb more static, they take their time, they rest in many, many places. And uh, and and this this time it was not the opposite, it was that the time limit got, got shorter, but we've seen one of the first times with the men were getting timed out or very close to timed out and not doing that. Yeah. Huh, oh, that's really interesting. <laughs> Do you take in all the life lessons? Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I, I won't time out. You won't time out? No, <laughs> it's never happened before and it will never happen. <laughs> never time out? I have like a maximum of three minutes on the wall. That's it. Just like looking at the roots now, I get really inspired. So uh, I think this is going to be a fun session. Thank you for the session. Thank you. It was a blast, and thank you for belaying me. Yeah, no problem. It was, was, uh, was really enjoyable the climbing uh, rope today. <laughs> That's good. I actually thought it was really fun too, like especially because the uh, the routes are new. Yeah. And uh, and it's good to climb with someone who's psyched. Yeah, it is. Always. I'm 
just uh, outside the gym now. I'm about to uh, do the three times eight. And this felt really, really hard last time. So I'm excited to see how it will feel now. Um, you have already seen the session. You've seen what I do. So I think I'm just gonna go through it like really quickly. And then I'll give you an update afterwards. Today was good, um, it was nice doing roots and it was also nice that my body felt pretty good. Um, I'm not gonna keep up the daily vlogging so I'm gonna spread out the last two vlogs over some more days, I don't know exactly how many but um, yeah, today was a good day, I hope you enjoy this vlog and uh, see you in the next one. Thank you.